Hello and welcome to Windy Madrid. I just arrived at the airport and took the metro into the city center and the wind is incredible here. The turbulences were really creepy actually when we landed and it's so crazy that land around the city was burning because um, of the heat that's ongoing. It's like 30, 36 degrees I believe here and now I'm gonna check into my hotel. See you guys. You can see I'm here at Plata de España. A very central place here in the city. Very good location, but they are reconstructing the whole, the whole uh, area here. So much construction going on that I can't show you what I actually wanted to show you first. Um, but now I'm gonna check into the hotel and we're gonna see if it's a nice one because I booked a little bit of a luxury today. I normally don't do that, but this time I figured why not? Because you guys wanna see it obviously because you clicked on the video, so uh, let's do it. I love how the Metro logo looks like. And here it is actually. I think I need a mask. Yes, till Monday, yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye, thanks. All right. All right, no, no, um, no mirror. Look at that. That's the pool. 32, it says. I was wrong about 36. And it is Friday. What's that in uh, Spanish? Doesn't say in here. Looks very fancy. Fake marble. Not like in in Italy when I investigated the marble. God, see. All right. Oh, here we go. All right. Let's check this place out then. See that? I'm the how to find. I'm the best guest ever. Very clean, very modern. I like it. I like it. I've got a uh, little balcony here. Let's open up if it's possible. All right. Perfect. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that bird shit. Let's see. Wow, so this is Madrid. I have no idea where we are right now in the city because I just arrived. And this is the Plaza, uh, Plaza de España, I think, where they are they're remodeling it or something. Can you see how windy it is? I mean, you probably can hear it also. I hope the, the sound is okay. Can you see how windy it is? It's crazy. Turbulence was crazy, but I didn't, uh, I don't have it on tape. The neighbors, hello neighbors. Well, I like it. I like it. It's nice. Let's check out the room then. Let's see. You said that's real wood. I like that. So, oftentimes you've got fake. Oh, here you are. Hello, guys. Um, 19 degrees. That's good. Let's take off my shoes first. And let's get my backpack down. All right. Let's see what we have in here. How do you turn it on? I have to probably um, just uh, get the card. Perfect. Ooh, sweet. Ooh, I like that. Is that also? That seems to be a uh, real marble, actually. All right. Hello, guys. All right. For some reason, in some hotels they put the towel here and in other hotels they put it on um, on they put it on the bed I don't know why can you guys maybe elaborate on that if you know maybe somebody works in the hotel Wow how is the lighting I like that hello guys check this out let's uh, ooh, I really like it Care for your hands. Yeah, I think you have to be really careful here these days. 
And here, oh, behind the door, there's a toilet. Seems to be a normal toilet. Um, yeah, it's behind the door. I don't care because I will be the only one here. Let's check out the mini bar. <laughs> Perfect. There's nothing in there. Maybe somebody left something in the safe? No. Man, there's nothing in the mini bar. How frustrating. And what is that? I never know what these things are. Anyway, let's check out the bed. Wow, I like it. I will wake up to this view. Uh, Spanish art. Um, uh, dear hotel, uh, let's... I home radio, all right, all right. I see, I like it. Flat screen TV. Although I probably won't watch TV because first of all, don't speak Spanish. There's no football games now and uh, yeah, whatever. Here I have to book. This is interesting. This is a QR code and I have to book my um, room service, mini bar, and the breakfast that I want. And then tomorrow I can get a table on the top of the hotel. Oh, look at that hotel. That's probably, uh, that's probably more fancy. Um, I can book a table on the top floor on the terrace actually for tomorrow morning's breakfast and you know Spanish mornings they start at 8 so when I leave I leave at like 6 or 5 a.m. Um, so I won't have the chance to enjoy a breakfast but tomorrow and the day after tomorrow I will enjoy a breakfast so I'm very excited to check out the city um, and I will go up to the top floor and check out the pool area and bring the camera also we're gonna do that in a second and yeah what else uh, is here to see and to film I don't know I mean this one looks uh, interesting whatever that is just a piece of uh, wood that looks cool design wise I like it I really like it it's very simple and small but the city is not that cheap so it costs me around 100, and 100 euros actually so that's 120 dollars or 125 dollars I don't know um, yeah is it worth it? I don't know could have stayed in a cheaper place of course but um, yeah I mean let's see if the pool and the breakfast is worth it because otherwise I don't think for the room I should have paid that much basically it's I mean it's just a basic room I paid around 20 20 to 30 euros for a room basically like that in uh, Italy in Milan but yeah let's see if the let's see if the top floor the terrace and the pool are actually worth it This looks good. Wow. Let's check it out. I'm excited. Ooh, wow. Sweet. Don't want to film the naked people here. Lol. This apparently is the breakfast area. Wow. Awesome. I like it. Let's eat there tomorrow. If you want to go for a real swim, well, this is not the place for you. But you can take a dip um, to just cool off or something and enjoy the view and I will do that later. I just didn't want to film more up there because there's like so many people in the in the swimwear of course let's go eat something here in Gran Via um, you can see all the buildings that Madrid is known for it's these rounded corner buildings very interesting to see them in real life for once and I wanted to tell you guys something um, I don't know if many of you know it, 
but uh, when it comes to travel I'm actually really into traveling to Asia I always traveled to Asia I loved it I went to Southeast Asia I went to East Asia um, everything from Japan China South Korea to uh, to Southeast Asia the normal you know Thailand and Indonesia and stuff like that but it is obviously not possible and hasn't been for the last one and a half years basically so what I'm doing now is I'm just um, keeping in touch with you guys of course and also thinking about what I've not seen within Europe and checking that out so um, that's that's basically why I came back to Spain also because you guys actually wanted me to come back because you wanted to see uh, more of Spain what's going on over there stop the music well that's crazy I mean it's a big city here you've got all kinds of different people you've got uh, 3.5 million people obviously calling Madrid their home and the culture is uh, amazing here it really feels like a big city it really feels like uh, a city among the other big ones that you know in Europe um, and I like it so far I've only been here for like half an hour but let's check it out I found a really nice taco place and I want to go there and have some tacos <laughs> All right, look at my tacos. Wow, I'm starving. I ordered eight tacos, and they are one euro each. I love it. Let's check it out. And of course, a coke. Wow. The tacos are absolutely beautiful. Mm. Absolutely amazing. And I haven't had food for like 10 hours or so. Love it. I feel like in Mexico. This one literally got pineapple on it. Let's try that. Mm. Refreshing after all. It's good. Man, I think I might just order more. They're amazing. I'll catch you guys after I finish. Oh, the tacos were absolutely beautiful. I only had eight. Um, could have, could have uh, done more actually. I asked the guy how many people normally take, and he said six. And I said, okay, then I'm gonna take eight. But um, yeah, it's it's good. I'd rather not have a uh, stomach that's too full to walk around the city still to get some uh, to get some more tapas or whatever inside me later let's find a market or something I don't know where I am looks pretty central but um, oh yeah uh, Carmen it's Plaza del Carmen or something tapas uh, the Carmen all right Carmen whoever Carmen was or is let's do this now let's check out some uh, some main things to check out when you are in Madrid I guess I'm enjoying the last sunbeams here oh here's a mirror hey <laughs> with this view on Madrid and the pool is down there sky view pool I just don't want to film it because um, I will I don't want to film the, the people that are in the bathing suits of course but this is such a nice place 
that I had to show it to you. And over there you can see the, the royal palace. All right, I will leave you with this for today. And I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the view.